Accompanied by Councilmember Raphael Salamanca Jr., the Hunts Point community celebrates the street renaming of Mrs. Marie Davis, also known as Big Mama. So today we're here to honor a pillar uh, in the community, someone who everyone calls Big Mama, an individual who uplifted this community in Hunts Point when it was at its worst and ensured that the adolescents had something to do to try her best to keep them off the streets. And now you look at them, you have doctors, you have principals, you have professionals, all because of Ms. Marie Davis. And so Ms. Marie Davis, she left us about two years ago, and you know, we need to honor her. And what better way than to honor her than to co-name a street after her. And so today we're here to co-name the intersection of Vail and Hunts Point after Ms. Marie Davis. And it will always be named that way because it is law. So my mom, she was real big in the community. She was all about uplifting the community, helping people out. She was the type of lady, if you had to go to work in the morning, but your kids needed to be dropped off at school, she was dropping the kids off at school for free, not, a, not charge a dime. She's the advocate. She's all about uplifting the community. I grew up, I was one of the kids, I was one of the kids that had bad asthma. So I was, in, I was constantly in the hospital, in and out the hospital. So um, one of the reasons that I, was, I had bad asthma was because of the fish market. The fish market was polluting the air. So Big Mama wasn't, she didn't like that, so she joined the Mothers on the Move movement, and she was advocating to get rid of that fish market. They end up getting rid of the fish market. And, um, you know, she's one of the reasons, if you, if you come down Hunts Point Avenue, you'll see trees down Hunts Point Avenue, and she's one of the reasons for the trees, because she was big on going green. So, you know, she wanted to, uh, you know, get trees, go trees, just to, um, you know, bring clean air to Hunts Point community. Miss Louise is a longtime friend of the late Mrs. Davis, and now she remembers her dear friend and all that she has done for the community. Marie Davis was a legend in this community because she loved her community. She loved the kids in the community. She wanted to see that things went right with them, opening up programs, after school programs, you know, uh, taking the kids to the Point CDC program and uh, summer programs. Uh, we even had um, gardening, everything. Anything that kids could do, we did. It was beautiful and this was her legacy. The kids now, they're grown, but they, they, they were wonderful. Back to Andre Davis, who tells us some of the things he's currently doing to uphold his mother's legacy. What I'm doing to keep the legacy alive, I do free group workouts every Saturday in Pelham Bay Park, 9 a.m. Free group workouts. It's all about uplifting the community because I realized after COVID, a lot we lost a lot of people to COVID. And um, you know that you know they they're saying COVID was really like affecting the people that was plus size, oversized. So one thing I want to combat that is by by encouraging people to move around. We gotta move, we gotta get the body moving. The same way you wake up in the morning, you gotta brush your teeth, you gotta work out at some point in the day. If you get if you work for the man, you go work a job eight hours. You better give yourself 45 minutes. That's all it takes, 45 minutes a day. Do some squats, do some pushes, do something. So I'm all about uplifting the community. As you have heard, Mrs. Davis was a hero to her community and she didn't need a cape to save the day. For BronxNet, this is Kyrie Moody.